Howdy folks, welcome back. It is a beautiful Northeast Ohio morning here. This is my buddy John, and uh, he also has a YouTube channel, by the way, Herman Woodworks. Um, we are loaded up. We got our buddy Paul's uh, trailer, and then John's dad's new uh, retirement gift to himself, which is this really killer Chevy 2500 with 4,000 miles on it, and he was nice enough to let us borrow it. So. I am in Ohio right now, and if you happen to be new, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. I have a motorcycle shop in California. I go all over looking for old bikes and um, got a lead a couple months ago on a, on a couple bikes. Some Harley Stevensons. Yeah, some Harley Stevensons. <laughs> and don't know too much about them. I got four pictures from what looks like a Blackberry from 2005. So we are going to jump in the truck. It's about four hours away. Pocket full of money. See what happens. Time machine time. Time machine. <laughs> so we're down here in uh, southern Ohio, and it is definitely a good, healthy mix of Farmville and uh, some pretty nice-looking little houses, rolling hills. It's really pretty out here. Check out this place here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's nice little little like looks like a cottage from england or something <laughs> we got a guy over here a little ktm i think car lot we're in uh reese oh yeah KTM. ktm this is interesting country down here it's a mix of kind of some rundown places and trailers and then you'll see some like really nice houses so yeah kind of cool Sure, uh, sure is a bit different than California, I'll tell you. Even the rundown places are nicer <laughs> than most places in California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like these places are really nice. Nice manicured lawns. Everyone's got their stuff together. No junk out in the yard. Oh, yeah. Well, we're only a few miles out now. Just stopped for fuel. And fuel is dramatically cheaper here. Three ninety-five for regular, five oh nine for diesel, which is really awesome because it's uh, around seven, I think, a gallon for diesel in California right now. So, and then regular gas—I don't know what it is—but we're saving all kinds of money. So here's the old 74. It's been sitting a bit. And he's got some other bikes that I didn't get. The Bergman, a couple other scooters, a Goldwing with a sidecar, BMW, another old Goldwing. It's a cool motorcycle. It's just being so far away, I got to really think about the, the shipping. Here's the uh, extra parts for the other bike, the swing arm, rear wheel. Snug as a bug in a rug. Oh, the big pass, boys, the big pass. Check this guy out. He's just out there choochin', choochin'. That's an old combine. Yeah, it was. Nice. This thing's so rad. A little stone cottage. It's like out of a movie. And with a little YouTube magic, it is tomorrow. Yesterday was a long 12-hour day of traveling, but we got the 74 Shovelhead FLH, the uh, 05 Trike, which is hard to see, and then the little Recon 250. Uh, my buddy John had to work today, but uh, he was nice enough to let me use his pad here. And I'm going to get these things cleaned up. The Recon, it's got a charged battery and it cranks. So hopefully that thing we can get started. Might need a carb clean, but uh, I think I have enough tools here to do it. We'll see. But yeah, that's the program. Picking motorcycles across the country, not easy. So I was able to, uh, I was able to get all the stuff for the Electroglide to turn it back into a regular motorcycle. Not sure if we're gonna do that or not. I've never had a trike. And I don't know how much they cost to ship, so I gotta look into that. But got some panels pulled off of her. The battery is much too small, and uh, 
we're getting no juice at all. So that's not good. Got to figure that out. Like I said, the little recon though, she cranks, but she don't want to start and there's barely any gas in it. So pulled the seat off here. Carburetor is really to get easy to get to on this one. So I guess uh, we'll dive into that. But these guys, oh yeah. It's this thing right here. It's kind of been bugging me. I'm like, should I just keep it? It's like, I've never had a full bagger. If my wife sees that backrest, she is just gonna, she's gonna fall in love. Well, I've been making some progress. I got the bags mounted on this just because I have to ship the bike, so that'll make it a little easier. Gave it a wash, cleaned up real nice. This is a really nice little, little motorcycle. I kind of think it's like the perfect survivor condition where you can like, you know, it's still old, but still nice enough to not have to restore it. Oh, the old trike, I haven't done anything with that thing. It's, uh, this thing's a behemoth behemoth but the little honda recon so she wanted to run she wanted to run real bad but like every other bike we got the green stuff growing on the carburetor so pulled the bowl off i got this soaking right here oh doing carb cleans while doing any work not at the shop is always kind of a pain in the butt Whoa -hoo -hoo. don't go rolling away on us now I tell you what, I sure have gotten spoiled with my vapor blaster and the lift with all the tools and all that. Back to the basics, working in the driveway, in the sun. I don't wanna work in John's garage here because the gas that's coming out of this thing is disgusting. Got the old green stuff. It's like the huge, the huge. It's like taking a step back in time. Ooh. It's always an adventure on the road, boys. The magic carb clean strikes again. We got a runner. How about it? She's a runner, boys. Oops. Stalled out. I uh, I didn't put enough gas in it, I don't think, yet. But it runs. Pretty stoked on that. Yee yee. All right, guys, I got the bikes all cleaned up, and I we have a special helper here. This is Porter. He's my number one YouTube fan, huh, say Porter? Hi say, hi to the, say hi to the folks. Hi. So Porter's going to help us out today. He's going to be cameraman, and uh, John and I are going to try to get these bikes in the trailer without dropping them. <laughs> so make sure you film us, and if we drop them, definitely make sure you get that, it on camera. Be the bloopers real. Yeah, that's, that's YouTube gold. <laughs> But we're really gonna try not to do that. So thanks for all your help, Porter. I appreciate it. Give me a high five. Thanks, buddy. And uh, yeah, we'll get these things loaded up. Here we go. Hold on, you gotta, gotta stretch. Make sure we don't pull a hammy. First rule, we'll warm her up. <laughs> I think you guys just got a text. There, oh, that's all right. Ready? All right, turbo. This thing, we need to move that strap bag or any more of those. Uh, yeah, I'll move that rod iron stuff. Just a motorcycle. Well, it's a three wheeler, I bet it weighs more. Right. Strap it that way. We are loaded. <laughs> now we gotta strap them down. Dude, that can't. So, John just noticed there's a little bit of dirt in the exhaust. <laughs> and. He wondered how that happened and well this morning when i rolled it out i was by myself and if you see those nice little di divots right there you measure the distance apart. yeah i didn't Bye. quite account for the uh the clearance issue and with a little bit more youtube magic i am back in california and back at the shop so the bikes are still in ohio Getting some shipping quotes. Shipping is insanely expensive right now because of the fuel prices, everything, inflation and all that. So they even have a surcharge on the shipping quote for fuel of almost 300 bucks. So that's a thing. But uh, 
pretty sure that the trike is gonna stay in Ohio. I have somebody there that actually wants it, so I just have to figure that out. But the 74, we're definitely bringing out because I need to get it on the lift. I wanna get that thing running and I would love to ride it. It is such a cool bike. I am really happy with that purchase. And it was a really fun time. A huge, huge, huge shout out and thank you to a bunch of people, really. My brother, um, he's helped me out a ton. He lets me stash bikes at his place. I really appreciate that. And the Herman family, John, his wife, Kaylee, the kids, super awesome folks. We got to stay with them for a few days. John and I have been friends for years, ride motorcycles, shenanigans, all that stuff. So it was really fun to uh, get to hang out with them. And Porter is just the most awesome kid and he helped us out and, and it was it was a really great time. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. And hopefully we will be back soon to do some more picking. Well, uh, stay tuned. If you happen to be new, please subscribe while you're here. And once that FLH gets out here, we'll start playing with it. Uh, see you guys on the next one.